Welcome back to Fair Game. I'm Christine Leahy here with six-time NBA All-Star and one of my top 20, maybe 20 to 25 favorite players, Blake Griffin. Blake, I would yes. never want to roast battle you mm -hmm. because you are 0-1 in roast battles and I, I just wouldn't want to embarrass you. So instead, right. we are going to do a toast battle. Okay. I'm going to toast you and then you can toast me as well. And okay. by the way, um, this is champagne. I know you might not know what that is because you've never won a championship. So hey, first of all, cheers to that. Cheers. But I'm actually, I'm actually a huge fan of yours. Yeah. I, uh, I have a poster of you in my office. It's specifically the one of you getting dunked on by Giannis. Oh, okay. Yeah. And uh, experts are criticizing your defense a lot lately. And I got to mm. say, they're not wrong because how many of your ex-girlfriends have been stolen by players? But um, in all honesty, right. all honesty, I do love you, and I, I would never trade you for the world, very much unlike Steve Ballmer. Cheers, Cheers. to you. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. To um, LeVar Ball. <laughs> <laughs> you got to do that with one line. Cheers to that, Blake. That was awesome. Cheers. Welcome back to Fair Game. I'm Christine Leahy. My guest today is the only person to ever win the NBA dunk contest and perform at the prestigious Just for Laughs Comedy Festival in Montreal. Blake Griffin is here. So when you're writing material and you're working on jokes, because by the way, I, I've asked a lot of comedians and they really think that you're very good. Oh, like some of them have even said you've got a Netflix special in your future. Oh, wow. But when you're writing, do you carry around a notebook with you? Are you thinking of material during games? I'm nor uh, I'm not really thinking material during games. I have just a note notes folder in my in my phone. You do of just like ideas, and then like I'll come back to it and like revisit it when I like think about it a little bit more. Do you have a team that you kind of work with? Like, hey, I have this idea, and then you build on it. Um, yeah, like I'll I'll text somebody something and and you know see their thoughts on like a, a joke or something. I mean, like a comedian, not just like somebody random. Uh, um, only comedians. Yeah, it's kind of the only people I trust with that. Wow. Set a high bar. Yeah. What's the last thing you wrote in there? Uh, it'll just be like, some, some of it's like a little bit more fleshed out, like I've like thought about it, and some of it's just like a word or an idea or like a thought. Uh huh. And then like I'll come back to it when I have time, and I just don't want to like forget it in the moment. Who's your go-to person? Um, probably Neil Brennan. Yeah. Um, Co-created Chappelle Show, wrote Half Baked, all that. Um, has great Netflix specials. He's like one of those guys that I can like send a joke to and he, he'll be like very honest, like lose that, that's not funny, try this, try that. You know, he's, he's a veteran joke writer. I was talking to a comedian the other day and they said that you're like there's athlete funny mm -hmm. and then there's just funny funny and you're not even athlete funny, you're like funny funny. Wow. That's a compliment. Yeah. It's a really I'll great thing. I'll yeah. So a lot of comedians, they aspire to have a Netflix special, to go on tour. Mm -hmm. What is your aspiration? Um, I don't know. I, I'm a huge Saturday Night Live fan, so like hosting Saturday Night Live would be awesome. Mm -hmm. um, but other than that, I don't, I don't really know. I mean, basketball is just like my main focus. I, haven't, I, let's, I have time for that after, after basketball, but um, I haven't really like put a lot of thought into like where I want to go from here. You went against the Michael Jordan of roasting, Jeff Ross. Mm -hmm. I honestly thought that you should have won. Thank you. Were you nervous for that? Yeah, for sure. Um, anytime like you're up, I'm standing in front of a crowd with a microphone, like all eyes are on you, you're very, very nervous. Like people always, like when I did stand up for the first time, people were like, oh, like does playing basketball in front of a bunch of people help you with stand up? And I'm like, absolutely not. Like mm -hmm. no, there's no comparison. Like I have like, I've done, I've played basketball my whole life. You don't have to speak. Um, you have teammates out there to help you. Like, there's no, there's, there's nothing more nerve-wracking than getting up on stage and, and um, trying to make people laugh. What do you do before you get up there? I try not to think about <laughs> all the people. Uh, I just like think about what I'm going to say. And I, a comedian gave me like a really good piece of advice one time. Like when you get on stage to take the mic stand or take the mic out of the stand and move the stand off to the side of the stage because it kind of like subliminally makes your audience feel like you know what you're doing you're comfortable you're getting out of the way like and then somebody else told me to just like all oh, it sounds corny but always like address the crowd like what's up charlotte or you know wherever you are say something 
okay. um, greeting the people, and that always like helps like the first like nerves go away. Do you pick out people from the crowd and make jokes with them? Um, I'm not really like a, a crowd work okay. person. Um, Straight material. Yeah, I have had a, I did like a, a bit where I would like pick somebody out of the crowd to come up and, and do like a back and forth with me, mm -hmm. but um, I'm not really like a crowd work guy. Do you go back and watch the tape? Oh yeah. You do? Yeah, the first time when I went and did Montreal, um, my br I had my brother like record my whole set every night and I would like watch it like three, four times. What'd you think? I would just kind of like pick, like I would be like, oh, like I shouldn't have like m done that, move that way, whatever it is. Um, but it helps, like by the third night, I, was, I did a show five straight nights and by like the third night I had really like, huh. really like kind of like fine tuned everything. So it's you don't get in your head about it. Like I can't watch myself because I'll just go crazy and I'm my own worst critic, but you're, you're cool yeah. with it. I, I don't watch like, I, I'm specifically just watching to like figure stuff out. Okay. I'm not really like, and it was like a, it's not like a good video. It was like my brother in like the loft like shooting, you know, from, from far away. It wasn't right. like really good video. Okay. Is there an NBA player you would like to roast? Uh, I feel like Shaq. Shaq would be a good one. He would be really good. Yeah. Um, this is interesting to me. Your production company, Mortal Media, there are a lot of guys out there that are starting production companies, and I mm. feel like it's just being advertised everywhere. Right. Yours isn't. No. Is that intentional? Yeah, we, we decided like a long time ago um, not to like do like a press release or an announcement. Um, that we just wanted to kind of like put our heads down and like really like set a foundation and show people that we like really care about this and this is like a, a, a passion thing. It's just kind of um, our way of like showing everybody we're serious about it. You've picked careers where like both in basketball and in comedy, mm -hmm. you have fans heckling you or mm -hmm. saying things to you. Have you ever gone back at a fan? Um, yeah, but not like, not like anything worth, like, not anything like really funny or anything like that. You know, like sometimes like fan, like I, I love when fans will be like, hey Blake, like you suck. And I'm just like, that, <laughs> that's what you thought of. Like, <laughs> you knew you were coming to this game. Like you had all game to think of something and that's what you said. Uh, Do better. So if a yeah. fan showed up and they actually had material, you'd probably respect yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, okay. absolutely. Okay. If this... fans say something funny, I'll, I'll like acknowledge it. Like but, fist pound. Good job. Yeah. Like okay. I, they look at him like that. Let's go. 